For a more complete story of the beaver, why not contact the Canadian Wildlife Service in Ottawa? So imagine for a second that you're a student at a university with one of the country's premier video game courses. And let's imagine that there's this huge event that will allow you a chance to showcase your work to some of the biggest names in the video game industry. So you're pumped. I mean, you're ready to go out and show them what you got. You spent weeks, if not months, working on your video game, trying to incorporate new ideas, exciting ideas, things that will get you noticed and possibly secure your entire future. What then would be your reaction if the event was cancelled? I mean, most of us would be disappointed and feel gutted. Um, but what if it happened not a week before the event, not a couple days before the event, but four hours before the event? Well, that's what happened at the University of California, and the reason it happened was because there was no vagina on the stage. And that's not because one wasn't invited. I mean, you can look at the previous panel, Lin Min's a female, but... There was a scheduling conflict and she couldn't attend. So even without these good faith efforts to be inclusive, that was not enough for this cunt here. And normally I don't like using the word cunt, but it is 100% applicable here. Let's see what this colossal asshat had to say. There is no perfect choice here. There was only the choice to stand for one set of values or another. So I chose the path I believe in. You are free to disagree, but I think it is the right side of history. So Tracy, thank you for allowing me to disagree with you. And I'm going to do so in several ways. Firstly, as your role of Chair of Interactive Media and Games at the University of Southern California, you have an obligation to provide your students with the best education available. And in this regard, you have failed completely. Not only did you deny your students an opportunity to listen from industry leaders about the world they're going to be going into, you also denied some of your students an opportunity to find themselves a career in a position that they would absolutely love. Any person in a position of power who cannot set aside their ideology to fulfill their responsibilities deserves to be let go. And understandably, the students were pissed at an anonymous USC student majoring in computer science. Of course, the student did not wish to be named, fearing reprisal from the games department. And I wonder who he feared. And secondly, Tracy, if we take your actions and we view them through a feminist lens, they're wrong as well. I mean, we're constantly being told that women need to be encouraged to go into STEM, that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I mean, it's such a popular view that even largely impartial people like Boogie2988, when he was reviewing the Ghostbusters, mentions it. This next generation of people, especially this next generation of girls, deserves a good movie so that they can have some female superheroes that will encourage them to get into the STEM fields. And, and, and I bet this is not going to be that. So Tracy, it's odd to me that you, as a chair of this department, a technology department with one of the highest ratios of female to male students, would not want to take advantage of this. I mean, you're having these industry leaders come in and reach more women than ever before. But in Tracy's world, fuck those women. Fuck that progression. If there isn't a vagina on the stage, that event is not worth having. The reason I do videos is to point out assholes like this. People who get into positions of power and really don't care about the ramifications of their actions or the people they harm, they only care about pushing their own agenda. As more and more people become aware of these sorts of things, we as a society will be able to push back against these harmful ideas. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please share, comment, or subscribe. Have a good one.